Hi stamping friends, it's Jackie Ballheis from Clump and Stampers. This is kind of a different video because I'm holding it, so sorry if it's a little shaky, but I wanted to show you how I store my cardstock. I get asked this all the time. So here's a peek into the file cabinet, which isn't it pretty seeing all the colors? You'll notice it's a file cabinet. I don't know what they call these. It goes um, vertical instead of, or I'm not sure what they call it, but it's actually a drawer that opens up this way and then all of the files fit in there. So I just have hanging files with all of the different colors on them. Now you'll notice they are in pinks to reds to oranges to yellows and so forth. They're the exact same way that I have my ink pads stored. So it's by color. And then if we move out here, we've got the in colors as well as the white and vanilla and all of those. Now I did not put the in colors into this other rainbow of colors because those will change all the time. And I figured at least for the next, you know, probably several years, these will stay the same. Now let's just take a peek. I have, they are hanging folders that I did find on Amazon that actually have a tab on them. So it's not where you, you know, stick the little plastic tab in, it's attached to the folder. And then I just took labels and I put the name of the color and then stamped the little swirly of the color. So it makes it a little bit easier to see. Now, when we peek inside of a fold, ooh, sorry about that, I just kind of swung that around on you. When we peek in the inside, you'll notice that on the back, I have all the full sheets, and then sometimes I'll pre-cut a bunch of card bases. I have those all in the front. And then if I have any scraps, I always put them in the middle, or in the very front here. Now there isn't any in there. Let's just peek through a couple, oh, here we go. Granny Apple Green. You'll see in there, we have the full sheets back there. Then we have some card bases, and they're kind of side by side to eliminate some bulk. And then down in here are some scraps. So it's real easy for me if I'm gonna, if I need a small piece, I come, I look in the front or if I'm on the other direction on the left side for scraps, card bases, and then full sheets. Okay, let's close the drawer and I'll just kind of show you the outside of this file cabinet. It's just, it's actually a big office one that I got from, a, we have a lot of uh, office manufacturing around here and it was from one of their company stores. And then on the top, I just have my scorer and my paper cutter. There, I flipped the paper cutter. I had it turned just so the handle wouldn't be in the picture before, but that's what it normally looks like. So it's all ready for me to start cutting my cardstock. So I hope that gives you a little peek into my stamp room and how I store my cardstock. If you have any questions at all, make sure to leave a comment and ask me. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be that person for you. Let me know so that I can send you a catalog. I look forward to sharing a lot more videos with you in the future, and most of them are, are really all about stamping. But today it was just about how I store my paper. Have a stamp happy day.